Hey, yo, check this out. This is Joe Crizzle. I got something I want to show y'all right quick. You know what I'm saying? In Bitwig. How to chop samples in Bitwig. Um, let me go back right quick. It's like, it's, no, it's normally two ways how to chop a sample. And those ways are, it's either you know what you're going to sample or you don't have no idea what you're about to sample. Or you know you just want a sample, but you don't know what you you bought the sample, so you chop something up, and you just see what the outcome may be. All right, so I'm gonna show you both ways. All right, in big way, all right, this is for this way right here. I'm about to show y'all is, you know, what I'm saying. Let me take this out. Take this out right quick. I'm gonna get an old school. <laughs> That's the old Ray Charles nighttime is. Yeah, young boys don't know about that John. Unless you just really know about music. But, but anyway. Alright, let's say you know what you want to sample, right? And let's say I'm playing it. Let me let me take that. Take time stretch right quick. Let me take that off. This is a whole new time stretch thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it in another video. Alright, let me turn that off. But anyway, I'm not gonna be specific about what I'm gonna chop up, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete this. Nah, I'm gonna keep that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get my sampler. It's like you can get the sampler, the devices, it's like you get the sampler. I'm gonna put the sample on that track. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get the container. And I'm gonna get the drum machine. All right, now, but I'm gonna use the sampler right now. Right? All right, so, cause I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make sure the sampler is, is sitting right here in front of me. So what I do, I get my knife. Let's say this little random little piece that you wanna cut right here, right? See what you can do, if you wanna get in increments, you can already, you know, cut it stretch it stretch the track and cut it or you can go right here and change the time you know what i'm saying of you know the precise of what you cut because if you really think about it if you if i go right if let me bring this back if i click my pen and i, and I click right here i double click on it it's gonna pop this because remember i took the time stretching off so we take the time stretching off it moves the on sets it see when he's still right here but if I press on set, they, they back. So they automatically do it as soon as you drop the joint in. As soon as you drop it in, they do it automatically. It's all about how you set it up. Because, I mean, it, that's very important because if you're, if you're engineering, you record an artist, you always want to get the tempo of the beat first. So you set the tempo of the beat. And the reason why is because when you start mixing down the vocals and stuff like that, and you putting uh, delays and stuff like that, the delays will sound better because it go it, it'll go with the tempo, it'll sync with the tempo. So that's why you know onsets and stuff like that is good. But anyway, that's another story. Let me take that off. All right, but anyway. All right, so now I got the sampler, right? So all I got to do is simple as this, man. I just get it. Drag it right here. Voila. You know what I'm saying? If you want to play in a chromatic, you press the little key right here. Saying that's how you do it, and, and now you're in your bag, and you 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 producing and everything. Now I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that track off, get that out the way, right? All right. So now I'm gonna show you a way what I normally do if I don't know what I'm sampling, right? 
I don't even got to have this drum machine. I'm going to just move that out the way. Right? So let's say I drop this track in. Say I got this. All I know that I want to take something from this. But I don't know which way I'm going to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight it. Right click. You got slice the drum machine or slice the multi multiple samples. Multiple samples, that goes in the simpler. So I'm going to slice the drum machine. I want the drum machine sound. All right, now, and give you all these options. Bounce a slice. You can slice raw. Just, just go through the options. You know what you like. You know what you need. Most producers, they're already familiar to the type of stuff. It'll let you know you're on the limit to 128 slices. Uh, you know, you don't need that many anyway, but that's good. I'm going to go to slice raw. I'm going to go one eighth note. It's based on how I like a sample because the more you cut it, the less you really hear of the sample. And sometimes that is good because... You know, sometimes you don't want, want want people to know that you sample, you chop something up in a way. But if you want to make it obvious and you want to pay those royalty checks, you know what I'm saying? Because you sample somebody's shit, then, you know, one eight, one four. I mean, you just got to try it. So I press OK. It's going to read it for a second. So what it just did is, is, is reading it right quick. As you can see up here. Just going through seizure or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So now if I double click on the drum machine, all these are samples. Now you see how short that, you see how short that cut is on the eight. That's that's cool. Now what I'm gonna do, press control Z, I'm gonna take that back. So I'm gonna be like, okay. I'm gonna try it again. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna slice the drum machine, I'm gonna go slice raw. I'm gonna do a one fourth. Slice that. Alright, now let it put in it, let it let it do its work. Alright, well, drum machine. Now, you notice that it kind of gave it a little more. Now, do I'm gonna do one and a half, right? Slice the drum machine, I'm gonna do one and a half. You can also do a bar, I need to do a bar. It's all about what I'm trying to, it's all about what you're feeling, what you're trying to accomplish, or what sound good to you at that time. You know what I'm saying? So let it do its work. And you notice that each square, if you double click on it, it got it, in, it got it inside the sample anyway. And it just got that small piece inside the sample. You stretch out and you just see it. You know what I'm saying? You still can move the little arrows and everything around. Tweak it up how you want to tweak it up. And you still can go on that specific sample, you know, and put your own effects in it. Also, if you if you press tab and go to the mixer and you press this, you press that right there. It got E sample. Hold on. Let me go, let me go to the bar. So many samples. Each one, you know what I'm saying? You got each sample. So now all you gotta do is just if you want if you wanna put a plug in on this joint, let me see. This track right here. All you gotta do is just go put whatever you wanna put on it. Go ahead and get an effect. Yeah, reverb. Yeah. 
whatever you want to do, you can route, you know what I'm saying, whatever you got on your bus, anything to it, bring the levels down, mute it. You know what I'm saying? You can either if, if 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 the CPU is jumping like it's crazy, you could just you know press to freeze the track right here. They got the new option at 2.3 to freeze the track. So now that's how you do it. You chop it up. It's just that simple, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, the plugins don't even be in your way on the screen and shit when you're trying to do your work. You know what I'm saying? There's multiple screens you can do. That's basically about it. You can just move this out the way. You know what I'm saying? And, and put in your work. It's your Crizzle. Subscribe. Follow me. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you need to know, you just hit me up. I'll give the information for it. Also, go check me out. I got beats. You know what I'm saying? On uh, yo Crizzle. Beatstars.com. Peace.